Hi, hello. Have a great day to everyone. Welcome to today's topic of gradient descent optimization algorithm. This is a simple neural network. It is trained to recognize the alphabets A, E, and C. So this is a simple text recognition. For A, we are having a size of pixel size of 28 cross 28. Total number of neurons should be 784. This value comes from 28 cross 28. So it is a two dimensional one. So every pixel that represents one value. So total 784 neurons. It has to predict the alphabets A, B and then C. So these are the weights, random weights that has been assigned during the training process. And this is the predicted value that we are getting 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. Here we are giving the value A as the input. But in the probability, we are getting the maximum value for B. So that should be a error. So we have to minimize the error with the help of gradient descent algorithm. By using the back propagation rule, we have to minimize the loss function. The actual value, so the actual value is 0 0.9, 0 0.0, 0 0.0. Because here we are giving the input as A means we have to get maximum probability for A only. So these are the actual values. Now we have to predict the error. How we are going to predict the error is by calculating the difference between the actual value and predicted value. Here this is the actual value and this is the predicted value. So 0.9 minus 0.3. This is plus 0.6. In case of B it is 0 that is the actual value and the predicted is 0.5. So the error is minus 0 0.5 and in case of C the actual value is 0 and the predicted value is 0 0.2 so it is calculated as minus 0 0.2 so this column represents the error function and this column represents the actual function and this column represents the predicted values we have to increase this predicted value by these values so for a we need a plus 0 0.6 and we have to decrease this value for minus 0 0.5 and again you have to decrease this value for minus 0.2. This information is transmitted back through the network that we call it as a back propagation. Here you can see the arrow mark is represented in orange color which means that we are updating the weight in the reverse direction. So weights are adjusted in the way to reduce the loss in the prediction. After updating the weights it is found as 0 0.6 and then 0 0.2 and then 0 0.0. So again it is compared with the actual value. Now somewhat the probability is improved. So the efficiency is also improved a lot while compared to the previous one. So now again there is a error in case of uh, this A and this B and this C because we have to attain a value of 0 0.9. If you want to predict the value A means there should be a high probability for A and the remaining B and C should be 0. So again we have to increase the probability value by 0.3 here and minus 0.2 here in case of B. The C is 0. So no need to worry about the C value. Now again with the help of that back propagation we are updating the values. So now we can get 0 0.7, 0 0.1 and 0. After updating the weight again now we can get the value as 0 0.9, 0 0.1 and 0. Consider this example we are going to build a neural network to predict the output with the help of the given inputs uh, input 0 1 2 3 4 are taken correspondingly we are getting the outputs 0 6 12 18 and 24 so when we are given a input means it gets multiplied with the weight value and then the output is provided so this box that represents the neural network x is the input and w is the weight we are going to start the training by choosing a random value for this weight w. We can assign the w equal to 3. When w equal to 3, the output becomes 0, 3, 6, 9 and 12. Okay. Now, here we are in this input column. We are multiplying this weight value and we can put the same here. So, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 1, 3, 3 into 2, 6, 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 4 it's 12. Second model we are taking the weight as 6. We are doing the product value 
again for the input into 6 so we are getting this value 0 6 12 18 24 third model we are assigning the weight as 9 when we set the weight value as 9 we are getting these values the updated table so this is the input and this is the output when we set the weight value as 3 we are getting this predicted output when w equal to 6 we are getting this output and when w equal to 9 we are getting this output as a humans we can clearly understand this is the output that we require so when we set the weight value as 6 means we get the required output as a machine point of view how it can identify this is the correct weight so how we are calculating the losses actual value minus that predicted value the whole square for a input 2 we are finding the actual output then for the assigned weight how much amount of loss we are getting so we are taking the input 2 so the actual output is 12 when we are taking input the actual output is 12 so when we set the value as w equal to 3 we are getting 6 when we set the weight value as 6 we are getting the 12 which one is the actual output and when we are setting the weight as 9 we are getting 18 so now we are going to calculate the loss for this weight equal to 3 the loss is 36 and for weight equal to 6 which is a correct predicted output so it is 0 and when weight equal to 9 the loss is 36 with the help of a graphical method we have to minimize this loss function that method is called as gradient descent algorithm now you can see that here when w equal to 3 this is the loss function here the graph is plotted between weight and loss so when the weight is 3 we are getting losses 36 so when the weight is 3 we are getting losses 36 when weight is 6 we are getting losses 0 so you have to plot here when weight is 9 we are getting the losses 36 so you have to plot here now you draw a graph by joining these points a random point on this curve is chosen and the slope at that point has to be calculated here now we have to move towards this loss value which is 0 so it is a positive slope 36 we have to come to 0 this is a positive slope indication so when there is a positive slope indication means we have to increase the weight so when this 3 becomes 6 when we added the value when we increases the value at that time it becomes 6 so 3 plus 3 is 6 so when the slope is positive we have to increase the weight so that is the main concept here and at the same time here you can see here when the loss is 36 this is a negative slope now at the negative slope the weight value is 9 but we require the weight value as 6 so when the slope is negative means we have to decrease the weight now the weight is 9 to make them 6 what we have to do we have to decrease the weight from 9 to 6 so we have to continue by checking the slopes at various points back propagation is a process of updating the weight in order to reduce the error this is the back propagation rule here the magnitude of the loss at any point on the graph is combined with this slope is fed back to the neural network positive slope always indicates a change in weight must be a positive number our network is trained and can be used to make the predictions we can see with the first example how the propagation and gradient descent algorithm work in that we discussed we are giving a b c the three characters it has to be predicted correctly so now the loss is find out so for the first iteration this is the loss require that values the weights through the network are adjusted in order to reduce the loss so again during the second iteration we are getting this type of loss value again for the third iteration for updating the weight we are going for the third iteration during the third iteration the losses for a is 0 0.04 for b it's 0 0.01 and for c it's 0 0.0 we have to focus on finding a minimum loss for our variable a for loss a is the minimum value is 0 0.04 without that gradient descent okay against a weight and a loss we have to plot out the graph 49 and this is 0 0.04 and this is 0 0.16 so here the loss is minimum we have to make this weight means we can get a correct predicted value 
now propagated throughout the network that is indicated in the orange color in order to adjust the weights i hope you understand the concept of a gradient descent optimization algorithm and the prop propagation rule which we implemented after finding the gradient thanks for watching the video meet you in the next video till then it's goodbye from vijay